What's going on, guys? Today we got two NFL player props here on Price Picks for Thursday Night Football between the Buffalo Bills and the Tampa Bay Bucks. Before I get started, link in the description below. Hop into our premium Discord, nine dollars and thirty cents per month. It comes up to thirty-one cents per day. It's where I post all the plays I'm making on Price Picks. We also have other premium cappers in there as well that post all of their plays, research, and analysis on a multiple different sports. Also, I'm not a gambling expert. This is not financial advice. Simply plays I'm personally looking at making. Hopefully, giving you guys some insight and analysis to make your own player props decisions. No one's pressing submit on those parlays other than yourselves. And we have hit on four straight YouTube videos, Sunday football, Monday night football, and back-to-back -back NBA nights. We've cashed on last four YouTube videos that I posted on this channel, The Two-Man Power. So drop a like on this video if you tailed any of those plays. And do hit that subscribe button if you have not yet already. I do chop content like this every single day. But yeah, it's not wasting time, let's just get right into it. So the, taking a look here, weather should not be really much of a factor. Um, wind sustained a bit over 10 miles per hour, gusts at 10 miles per hour. And then uh, the over-under is set at 43.5, with the Bills being 9.5 point favorites here. So definitely taking those Vegas lines into account um, on these plays. Um, again, I don't love this matchup as well. Just want to let you guys know, I would say bet light on this game overall. Thursday night footballs in general are not great, um, but just specifically this matchup, something about it I don't love. But first play is going to be Josh Allen over 11 first half fantasy score. Um, I just think he's due, and I think the term he's due in sports gambling is a little overused and it's just saturated and sometimes not used, um, I guess, the right way. Specifically, like you can't just say he's due, but I'm saying that because Josh Allen given the talent that he is, given the talent around him in Buffalo, and given just his track record as a player, right, and how the Bills' off offense has been, not how they've been in the last couple games, but just the, the potential that the Bills' offense has. You can see here, last five, he's gone over this in two of his last five and gone under in three of his last three. Now, we had consistently seen this 11 first half fantasy score line at 12 and a half for the first three or four weeks of the season, maybe even first five weeks of the season, we had seen it at 12 and a half. We get it, to me, in my opinion, at a discount here at 11. So um, taking a look at Josh Allen, right? This is full game. Obviously, there's no way to look at first half fantasy. First full game last season, right? Absolutely crazy. Like Josh Allen fantasy score totals. He he can rack these fantasy score points up pretty easily. And we know how offense, explosive the Bills offense is, right? This is full game, 26, 31, 39, 22, 23. And these are all generally in the second half. We know the Bills are looking to get off to a much better start. Uh, we look at some quotes here from the Bills uh, head coach, right? Why not implement some no huddle earlier in games? Even Bills coach Sean McDermott said it's some of, some of what Allen does best in the hurry up offense, right? Um, and Ken Dorsey said it's balancing act. Nonetheless, uh, you can see here, uh, when you get in no huddle situations at the end of the game, you can be effective. Yeah, you always consider those things, but at the same time, the defense is a little different. Some of those things are different. Um, Stephon Diggs explained why he thinks Allen is so good when the offense is moving faster. However, the Bills choose to operate offensively. They have to find more ways to score in the first half. So we know the Bills need to get off to a faster start, and I definitely think this is kind of the get-right game for the Bills. Uh, we look at Josh Allen specifically. He plays much better at home, even this season. The home versus away splits, right? 111 1,122 passing yards, 11 touchdowns compared to two interceptions. He has four passing touchdowns compared to five interceptions on the road. 128.8 passer rating at home compared to 77.3 um, on the road. So obviously Josh Allen at home, an absolute smash spot. I just think the Buccaneers offense is not great, so it should put Josh Allen on the field. I think at bare minimum, he's going to get five, maybe six drives in this first half. Um, I think without question, given... How Buffalo, I mean, how the Tampa Bay offense has been playing lately and overall just how, I guess, the Bills defense should be playing at home. Uh, we look at just the, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers defense as well. Quarterback hurries, they're, you know, down here near the bottom half, 7.1% of quarterback hurries. Uh, quarterback pressures here down near the bottom as well. So it should allow... Uh, Josh Allen a lot of time in the pocket and we know if Josh Allen has time in the pocket he should be or he can be extremely effective current odds for Josh Allen over on outlier again there's a link in the description you can sign up for a seven-day free trial with outlier this is a research betting tool that I use every single day um, he's over one and a half passing touchdowns minus 166 on DraftKings all these lines I think positively correlate to fantasy score um, over 22 and a half pass completions minus 130 under 0.5 interceptions minus 139 on Caesars, which is interesting given the amount of interceptions he's thrown as of late. Um, but I just think, again, like I said, a get right game for Josh Allen, 11 fantasy score in the first half. We get that push potential, um, just kind of a breakdown of what he would need to hit 11 fantasy score here, I guess, in the first half. I mean, 150 passing yards, a passing touchdown, 10 rushing yards for Josh Allen is um, I think exactly 11 fantasy points. So just to give a breakdown of what he would need. Now, obviously, if he throws two passing touchdowns, that's, this, this, you know, it's 
15 or, you know, there's a variety of different ways Josh Allen can hit the over. A rushing touchdown would absolutely, absolutely help this, this line quite a bit. But I think Josh Allen, given how lethargic the Bucks offense is, should see five or six drives in the first half. That should be uh, definitely enough to cover this line. So I like Josh Allen over first half fantasy score at 11. And the second play is going to be a full game. Obviously, it's going to be tackles plus assists. It's going to be Levante David over eight and a half. Now, this is a correlated play, obviously, because I do think the Bills offense will be on the field a ton. Um, if we take a look at Levante David over on Outlier, some great, some pretty solid odds for us. I'm going to actually refresh this to see if these odds have actually moved at all. But Levante at eight and a half, minus 139 on Caesars, minus 130 on DraftKings to go over eight and a half. He's over this line in two of his last three games with 13, 12, and 13 tackles plus assists over those three games. Um, all we need is nine here. Obviously, he's dominating the snap count, playing 100% of the snaps over the last every single game except for week one. So he's going to be on the field a ton. And we take a look at other linebackers, tackles plus this game log um, against the Bills, right? We've seen one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different linebackers. Every single linebacker that plays 100% of the snaps has cleared this line except for CJ Mosley and Olio Kuhn. But besides that, every single other linebacker has cleared this line um, against the Buffalo Bills. We know the Buffalo Bills will have the ball a ton. And even if, regardless of matchup, the Buffalo Bills this season averaged the second most time of possession in the NFL. So the Buffalo Bills on the field a ton, 35.7 minutes per game, they have the ball. Well, means Levante David will be on the field a ton here. I just think eight and a half. I think this is just the safest play for all of the Bills props. We know Chris Godwin is questionable and I don't trust Baker Mayfield really. So again, both these plays here, I think positively correlate. Well, Levante David has just been absolute monster. And I mean, he he's working himself into a Hall of Fame case, in my opinion. Uh, absolutely elite linebacker. Eight and a half tackles plus assists. Like I said, every look at these linebacker tackle by, tackles plus assist totals against the Bills this season. Levante over in three of his last four. 100% snap count. And the Bills, this is my favorite stat of this research, is the Bills' time of possession, 35.7. They dominate it, especially nine and a half point favorites for the Bills. They should be running the ball in the second half if those, uh, you know, odds remain true. Let me know in the comments below how you feel about these two plays here for this YouTube video. Josh Allen over 11 first half fantasy score. Levante David over eight and a half tackles plus assists. Drop a like on this video, hit that subscribe button, and as always, let's cash.